Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have an Avon video for you and man, my lipstick looks really bright in the viewfinder. I don't know if it's really showing up that bright, like really or what, but I'm not having a crazy hair day today, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was experimenting with the lipstick. I was mixing two colors together and that's really bright, but anyways, whatever. So, um, Avon has a new mascara coming out in Campaign 10. Some of you already might be in a district where Campaign 10 is available. I don't start Campaign 10 until, um, next week, which will be about the, let's see, today is the 9th, about the 12th, the 13th is when it's going to be available online. Um, it's called Big and Multiplied, and it comes in a box like that. Wait, that way? There you go. <laughs> Big and multiplied. So it is on the cover of Campaign 10 there. And um, I just thought I'd tell you what its um, claims are, and then we could do a little demo. As you can see, I'm not wearing any mascara right now. So, um, yeah, I thought we'd check it out together. I have worn it one day, so I can give you kind of a review of it and everything, but um, it's um, going to be $6.99, normal price $9. So that's the intro special in Campaign 10, which when I do my Campaign 10 highlights video, I'll go over it again. But um, it says it is... Uh, for the ultimate look in lash fullness, clump and smudge free, it comes in brown, black, black, and blackest black, which is the color that I got. And um, it says killer combo zones instantly separate and volumize lashes. And apparently the brushes have a combing zone and a volumizing zone. I think that's kind of funny when um, companies use that technology, like those terms, you know, it's kind of funny. And... Uh, it says four out of five women instantly saw tangle-free lashes designed with smart slip technology. Our mascara sticks to lashes, not, not to itself. Goodbye, unruly lashes. So here is our first triple threat mascara. So without further ado, we'll give it a, a demo here and see what happens. Um, like I said, I did use it once already. I used it one day. I put it on in the morning and had it on all day. Frank, what you doing, my cat? He just jumped up in the window. <laughs> so the tube is, um, the bullet is silver and it has like a, like a slant at the tip. And I'll show you the wand. Just has your basic mascara scent. And this is the brush. So it does have quite a few, like when you look at it up close, you can really see quite a few little grabby bristles there. So I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to use the viewfinder as a mirror. So we're zooming in, zooming into my unruly eyebrows <laughs> and my crazy hair. So, okay, I am going to start my application. It's really hard to use the um, the viewfinder as a mirror, but when I get a regular, like a handheld, and I try to do it that way on camera, I always end up getting out of frame. So there's one coat, and you can see my stray hairs. My hair is just a disaster today. I didn't really do anything with it. We're having a funky day here in Michigan. I'll let this dry for a second, and then I'll put on another coat. Um, we're having a funky day today where uh, it's like snowing one minute, and then it the sun comes out, and then it um, melts, and the sun's out for like 10 minutes, then it goes back to being cloudy again, and snows some more. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's try this again. Second coat. 
I think when I wore it, the day that I wore it, I, um, I used three coats on the top. And I don't believe this is a waterproof formula. I didn't see anywhere that it said it was waterproof. So that's two. I'll give the bottom lashes just another touch up and then I won't, I'll be done with them. So you can compare it to no mascara versus two coats. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do just a little light third one. It's not clumpy. I mean, that that's that's an accurate um, statement in the description, you know. It's definitely not clumpy. So that's three coats. My eyebrows are wonky. Like this one right here. Keeps, I need to trim them. So. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. So there you have it. There you have it. I, You know, I I actually, I thought this mascara did a pretty good job. I'm, You guys know every time a new mascara comes out from Avon, I do a demo and I'm like not really super impressed with it. And I think this is a good everyday mascara. It still doesn't take the place of my tried and true favorite Urban Decay Perversion, which that's just my favorite mascara personally. But I do think this one's pretty good. And when I wore it, I wore it a full day as in I put my makeup on probably 10 o'clock in the morning and took it off 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. And it stayed on. It didn't flake. It didn't smear on the bottom lash. Somebody uh, had commented on my Facebook. I believe it was Sasha. She said she wore it and it smeared in her bottom lash line. It. I did not have that. Um... You know, I didn't have that experience with it, but I also use like a lot of makeup in my in my lower lash line, and I have quite a bit of powder under my eyes and stuff, so that might have absorbed some of the oil that caused it to smear. I don't know, but um, I, I thought it did an okay job. And then somebody else, Diana, asked me, "How does it come off?" When I washed my face that night, I used my oil, my cleansing oil. That's how I take my makeup off. I double cleanse. Um, so I use my cleansing oil first and I always start with my eyes. I just put up one pump in my hands and then I work it around my eye makeup and my eyebrow stuff and I kind of let it sit while I do the rest of my face and then I go back and I kind of rub my lashes together to take the mascara off and it came off perfectly fine. I didn't have to use any um, like a second cleanser to get the mascara off. If you don't use an oil cleanser I would imagine that an eye makeup remover would, would take care of it. Um, I haven't tried it with my micellar water yet. I guess I could try it and see how that worked but it did come off no problem with my oil cleanser so that was good. I felt like it was a good dependable mascara. Um, you know, I was satisfied with it. As an everyday mascara, I think it's fine. It didn't, like, completely wow me, but at the same time, I feel pretty good about recommending it to customers because I think it just gives you a pretty good, you know, defined lash look. Um, it doesn't look like the fake matte lashes or anything crazy, but it did not clump. And even though I did three coats, they didn't. St it didn't stick together. So I feel pretty good in recommending the Smash Garrison. I think it seems worth giving it a shot if you're looking to try a new one. Um, like I said, I don't think it's waterproof. It doesn't say anything about waterproof on the packaging. Um, it just says that it's a volume mascara. So nothing about being waterproof on the packaging, nothing about it being waterproof in the brochure. They might come out with a waterproof uh, version of it at some point, I'm not sure. But for right now, I would say it's definitely not waterproof. So um, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, it'll be available in Campaign 10. If you're one of my customers, look for it next week, probably by Wednesday. Um, you should be able to purchase it 
you know, I'm online at my web store. So thanks, you guys. Question or comment below. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.